Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll walk through the steps needed to set up master shots, use the quick transfer function if you're using a DJI RC2, and export the footage. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Briefly, for those new to Master Shots, Master Shots is an autonomous mode that, based on the particular scene you're shooting, will automatically select the appropriate flight routes and capture the subject using a variety of creative shot styles. After the subject has been captured, the footage will either be automatically edited using various built-in templates that are within the DJI Fly app, or made available for use with video editing software. Based on the scene you're shooting, various scene types will be accessed. These master shot types are portrait, specifically for capturing humans as the subject of the video, proximity, which focuses on a non-human subject that is in the near distance, and this could be a structure or man-made landmark, and then landscape. This is where the subject of the video would be something in the far distance, most likely a naturally occurring structure or another type of large object. We'll now walk through the process of using each of the types in the master shots mode. For the first step, you want to make sure that the Air 3 is hovering. Go to the shooting modes and select master shots. Next, face the Air 3 in the direction of your subject, whether this be human, structure, or even the landscape. Now, the next step is if you're shooting a person. Either trace a square around your stationary human subject, or press the on-screen plus to select your subject. The Air 3 will automatically decide the shot types needed for the shoot. At this point, you can choose your flight parameters between small, medium, and large. Now we see that there's width. This is how far to the left and the right the Air 3 will travel for the shots. Length, how far back from the current position the Air 3 will go to capture the subject. And then height, the height the Air 3 will travel vertically and then shoot. The next one is shooting for proximity. Here, you would either trace a square around your large near distance subject or, if available, hit the plus sign. Then you would choose your flight parameters if you need to. And the next one is landscape. You would trace a square around your far distance subject. Remember to choose your flight parameters also if so needed. Now for the next step, after confirming the subject and parameters are correct, press start. You receive a countdown timer. Then the Air 3 will begin running through the presets of the shot types that it has for each one of these types, keeping the subject in the center of the frame. An option to view the video will automatically show on screen after the master shots have been completed. If you decide to bypass immediately viewing the footage, you can easily access it later from the album. Now for this video, the automatic view option wasn't available because screen recording was enabled on the DJI RC2. We'll talk now on how to create an automatic Master Shots video. Of course, one of the convenient things about the series of Master Shots types is that the DJI Fly app can then make a video from the footage using several theme templates. These templates all have different music. Some even have titles and variations in color filters. If you're using a DJI RC2 with the Air 3, there is one thing to note. As it currently stands, the final Master Shot videos can't be compiled and created on the DJI RC2. This entire process has to be done on a mobile device using the quick transfer feature. We'll go through the steps to connect the Air 3 to a separate mobile device using the quick transfer mode. If you perform master shots from a DJI RC N2 in smartphone, well then you can simply go to your album at the main DJI flag screen. 
First, turn off the Air 3 and the DJI RC2. Next, turn on the Air 3. Open the DJI Fly app on your mobile device. On the main connection screen, switch to Quick Transfer Mode. Here, follow the prompts to connect your mobile device with DJI Fly and your Air 3. Go to View Album. Once in the album, choose the video you want to use with the Master Shots template. It must be a Master Shots video. Now, here's something to note. The icon for Master Shots looks different from the regular video icons, so that should help in determining which is a Master Shots video. At the preview, select Create Master Shots. You'll be asked to download the full version from the Air 3. You can go ahead and download the file. Choose a template and export the Master Shot. After the export has been completed, the newly created Master Shot will be ready for viewing. When the Master Shots video has been completed, the Master Shots video file will be saved locally to your device, whether this is an Apple or Android smartphone or tablet. To view the newly created Master Shots video, you would simply open either your iOS or Android Gallery app, locate the video, and play and or share it. The files will be easy to locate as they're fairly short, about 30 seconds or so. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.